Hello, welcome in this new video. So today we're gonna do a reading. So this reading is about the full moon coming on Tuesday, the 8th of November. So this is a full moon in Taurus. Uh, and it is also a total eclipse, lunar eclipse. So it's a big energy. And the same week we have the portal 1111. So you may already feel it. It's going to be a very intense time. And what I've been feeling uh, myself first these last days, and especially today, I'm recording this on uh, Sunday. So it really feels like like we need to take it easy and rest because it's gonna be intense and for already some days now I've received a lot of new update, new activations there is a lot of new energies so it really feels like there will be a lot for us to integrate and that the body will need time to rest the body needs time it's also a period where we are all healing a lot both our body and also um, very much of ancestral karma. So there is a lot, really a lot of energy. So now I'm gonna look at this with a card. So Taurus message. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm feeling directly important decisions are gonna be made. Um well we have the four of cups with the moon, which really looks like this full moon and the chariot. So, I'm feeling a period of intensity, intense emotions, like overwhelming emotions, um, obsessive thought, obsessive emotions, things that are coming uh, back all the time in your mind, obsessive thought, negative uh, pattern that um, is going to put in the light, like you need to see another perspective, a new vision. And this is your invitation, is to move forward by accepting a new vision. And um, this full moon is there to show you uh, the full spectrum, to show you the, it's an opportunity to acknowledge uh, new information um, could be information for your spiritual uh, journey, can be information about your soul mission, can be just information about how you live your life, decisions you have to make in your life, like usual kind of decision also. I'm feeling um, something with the feminine and the masculine energy also here. I'm hearing two poles that are harmonizing them. So I think it's linked to relationships and also your relation with yourself. Like you're gonna have more clarity about. Um, I think how you treat your emotions, how you treat your high life. How do you um, do you really integrate the work? I'm, I'm talking spiritual work. I 
I'm seeing like um, new activations, crown chakra getting activated, uh, new energies coming down in the Kundalini activations with this uh, full moon. But I'm really feeling the feminine energy being activated, the emotional uh, energy. Uh, I'm feeling insecurity. If you're feeling insecure, you're gonna feel it stronger because you need to work on it. You need to to be able to go over this. You need to grow. And anchoring, anchoring, anchoring the new. Anchoring a new way of being. Okay, there is this energy of coming back from zero, from null. So some people will have this re reboot, reset kind of energy. And I think this is also very much linked with the portal 1111 because 11 is linked with that. This is a reset number. This is when you come back to zero, when you do. This is a wake up uh, number. So there will be this, you know, ha ha moment. Um, a period maybe of confusion for some people because if you don't acknowledge what is really going on inside of you and or and you focus too much on the obsessive emotion, obsessive thoughts, you're not going to be able to see the higher um, the higher knowledge and the higher vision that wants to come true. But if you really work work on yourself and take the time to meditate, to breathe, to feel your emotion and really not put them away. You're going to be able also to um, to have a really important uh, download that are going to help you for the rest of the year. It's I'm hearing new foundation. New foundation. So it's 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 a, it's a total lunar eclipse. So this is really strong energies, and eclipse means higher work. It means looking inside and do and really important uh, change. Okay, I'm gonna look at the chariot card here. I'm hearing breaking through. There is a breakthrough. For some people, it's gonna it's gonna be a breakthrough. It's gonna be liberating. It's just a strong energy to um, maybe get away of a complicated situation and move on to something new. There is magic in the air. I'm feeling joy also, the joy, um, I'm feeling independence, the joy of finding your, your path, your, the joy of following your heart, the joy of knowing that you are in alignment, it's also returning to alignment, especially with here the king or oh, sword also. Becoming the king. And you see the, the crown chakra flourishing nature. So, welcome, crown chakra activation. <laughs> I'm really feeling deep state of, um, of meditation also. Good time to meditate. And to anchor, anchoring, anchoring energies, anchoring energies. Ooh. On the other side of the deck, we had justice also. So alignment and balance will be also um, very much in focus. Okay, that is enough with the tarot card. We're gonna take some oracle. I'm gonna take the gypsy oracle because it's my favorite oracle. 
Maybe you have already noticed. <laughs> this one wants to come. This one. Okay. Really go away from a difficult situation, misfortune, living difficult situations here. Say goodbye to difficult situation. Um, there is people to help you around. Don't hesitate to ask for help if you need. So no matter what it is that you need to move, uh, move away from, or if you want to start, um, start again in something, you need a friend, a friend card. <laughs> and I have the priest, the priest that is telling also us our connection with our high self is also very strong at this moment and guiding us to a new path, to a new way. So this is really, really, really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take the Sushi Tower of your heart now. Sadness and isolation. Okay, why do we get this card? I'm seeing a bridge. I'm seeing a bridge, but it's like uh, when you close a big chapter in your life, you can feel this sadness of um, like, you know, oh my God, it did not work or oh my God, that was not the right path or oh my God, this is now in the past. That kind of energy and it's like we need to move to move forward and you will see in the car like that is uh, the low mood and that is how you jump from that mood and here it almost look like a full moon here also like welcome the new um there is a the energy of the if you know tarot there's an ener the energy of the full the full card in the major arcana in here like be open open your heart to receive the new open your heart for the for the new path that is opening be be joyful for the new adventure and the new you that wants to burst okay more coming together was talking about friends and yeah, it can also be relationship. Soul connection. Soul connection being more um, finding themselves. More deep connections is possible. The art center that is opening feeling more free to share maybe also deep stuff. There is so much beauty and tenderness in this uh, card. I'm feeling the tenderness, more tenderness. Being loving with each other. I'm here a new connection, a new a new aspect in a relationship uh, will emerge. Very beautiful. Okay, last card with this deck. Dead hatch. Detach. So detach from the old.
I'm hearing it's okay to not be the one that you were before. It's okay to evolve. For yourself. You know, when you when you move, um, when you evolve spiritually, your beliefs evolve, your way of doing things evolve, your way of being evolve. And that also includes that you uh, need to do change in your life. And it can be difficult sometimes to, to dare, to dare to, to really incarnate that new version of you. And, but right now it is really asking you, and we have the 11 here, so 11 portal, returning, it's a new self, it's a new you, it's a reset point. That, that, that is that kind of energy. And please don't be sad, be happy for the new that is coming. And you are not alone in this. I'm gonna take. I felt like taking this crystal uh, for this reading. Sometimes I take crystal during readings to because I get visions when I when I hold crystals. So let's see why. What is what this one wants to show me? Okay, I'm I'm clearly seeing the portal. <laughs> it's a portal. Okay. I'm hearing not everyone is going to go into that portal. So some people will not dare to cross uh, to cross uh, the door. To open the door, to cross the bridge. Some people are too attached to their past, to their everyday life, and their pattern, their psychic patterns. I will not dare to open it, but you are really invited to do it. But you know, if you're not ready, it's it's okay. You can also do it at your own rate, but it's a very good time right now to do that, to engage into something new, to change something. to make new base. To bring forward an evolution of you. Yes. Okay. So in the end of this reading I hope you like it you can comment in the comment section put a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel or give a donation also I really appreciate but thank you thank you so much for watching and I see you soon wish you a happy full moon and portal Goodbye.